Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Nilnar, and we're once again in Red Dead 1. So, we're going to uh, go over and see Bonnie. So we're going to take our horse there in case we need it. Go! We'll go ahead and throw it over on the hitch here. You stay right there, Blackie. Hey, but not the other one to jump. Come up here and we'll say hi. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. <laughs> See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. Oh, we can I ride. I take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Gotta get good at this. Can't let her win. Gotta uphold my character as right, a cowboy. Let me ride around these parts. Oh, she, she got a head start run there. That's no fair. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Not when it comes to riding, I'm no gentleman. We gotta stay ahead of you the whole way. How you doing back there? I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland! Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Can I restart that? Come on! Come on, that hurt me. I took the corner too sharply. Oh, no. Can I catch back up to her? Yeah! Come on. Son of a bitch! Oh, dang it. Over, overran him. Come on. Uh, that's not how I wanted to do this. I could have took her. I've got that corner. I think I did that yeah. once before. I don't think I'll catch her now because she's well up there. He's got me. There's no way I can catch her. Come 
I mean, not real far behind her, but... I can see her, at least. I might be able to get her. I know they're forgiving. Dang it. I overdid her. Come on. I almost had her. Oh well. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. I should have beat her. That was that was pathetic of me. So Marshall trying to ask you to talk to Armadillo. Or we got Barney. Let's bring the map up. So the Marshall wants to talk to us here or we continue with Bonnie's quest. I think I'm gonna stay with Bonnie for a few. We will go off and talk oh, to the Mr. Marshall. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat. Come on. And that's why we go to Armadillo anyway. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's really Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Coming through, coming through. Stay to the right, stay to the right. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Oh, we gotta now stop at that camp funny. up there. Listen, I remember that. I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Oh, this is so beautiful country. I have a small holding up a great plain. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. You go way back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. 
Took him out. Didn't mean to, but he wouldn't move out of my way. Ah. Hey. This is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Hey, we'll Meet go me talk in front to of the doc? general store when you're done. In the town. Oh yeah, this is the Wild West. You gotta love it. Hey, doc. And to me, some pain pills, please. It's excellent to see you today. Hey, mister. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Any trouble, let me know. Thank you kindly. So we can buy some medicines and other stuff here. There's our medicine. This. That's a dark brown horse with light mane. Faster and long, stronger than normal. Nice. Good. Now we don't have the black booty. We have ours back. Cool. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. That's Try why I wanted to do hers. Shot. I won't be around I to thought save she you left us time. here. Now we can talk to the sheriff over here. I'm a full cart. He didn't want me wrecking it on the way back. That's what it was. Uh huh. He knows how I drive. And take the stagecoach back later. But while we're here, oh, we can also purchase and rent properties. Nice. When we get money, we'll have to do that. But while we're here, we're going to talk to them, Marshall. Do it. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what, you, you getting kicked with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. <laughs> Seems loyal. Do you want to get out of here for a minute? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. Man. You. Oh, this... I haven't seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. 
course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have them out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. <laughs> my job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? <laughs> Only when things matter. Let's head over to the saloon. Yeah, let's go have some fun. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. Is the dumb rat bastard now? Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Mount up, Marston. Walton's our man. Damn, you seen it? Come on, I don't lose it. What just dribbled out of your mouth, count for an anecdote in these parts? Damn it! I assaulted no. I did not assault him. I did not assault him. What happened? They put me all the way back here? Oh, that's no fun. I will go back and do this again. I didn't assault my horse assaulted. That's no fair. I'll bring you back when we're closer to town. Okay, we're back in town. Let's try this again. Come on then, Marston. Follow me. Okay. Skip right through that and we'll go down here and do the saloon one again. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there yeah, than out robbing these folks. That's I'm an full interesting health. approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. Hey, we use the medicine. That's the good. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. 
He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Bridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Well, just keep going. Looks like he's holed up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. Slow up. <laughs> Looks like we got company, boys. <laughs> Damn. Take cover. <clears throat> We'll work our way up this hill. You better be at peace with the Lord. Move up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. Woo! There's one behind the crate. Take him down. Jump! Now move up to that crate. I'll cover you. Take that fella yes, behind sir. the rock, boy. You, look good. you ain't getting there, Walton. <laughs> You boys just ain't that tough! Hey. There's another one behind the outhouse, boy! Damn you! Take cover behind the outhouse! Careful, there may be more of them! I'll put a window in your skull, Walton. Black you. You could hit a full mass with a bag full of banjos. I stay behind cover better. Take him alive if you can. Cross the line. <laughs> Walton, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Shoot him in the leg. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Okay. Now we're out here. We're going to look around this place, see if there's anything good left over by the bandits. Might find some good stuff. You never know. Hey, you got anything? Loot the body. Yeah, you'll be needing this. Okay. We'll find some more bodies. One more over here. There we go. No, sir, okay. More money. How uh, noisy going on. So beautiful country. Let's look at the map here.
Hey, sweetie. Nice to come here. Now, let's see. Map, map. Here. So we're right here. Armadillo's way back over here. There's some coyotes up here we can try to take out. Train. So, we got more bees quest, which we could go back and do. Go play some poker. Let's go check out the poker. So, we can... I have one. Let's see here. Basic campsite. And then we should be able to travel to a destination. I'm going to go back to Armadillo. We're going to check out the poker match real quick. Always good to play a little poker. I got a little money in my pocket. Got to go burn. Bang finger fillet is available. Poker is over here, it looks like. Let's see if we can play. Later on, we'll be able to buy this. Oh, somebody's shooting up town. It's back here. There we go. Go play a little poker. Twenty-five or big blind is six. Pot is at nine. Okay. Good old-fashioned Texas hold'em. Let's see. Jack and three. Let's uh let's just call. Call you. Oh Jack. Lucky or foolish. Got a pair of jacks here. Go ahead and throw Come a bed in. in there. Oh, he didn't want to stay with me. See how he was? Ain't you mighty angry? Ooh. We're gonna fold that. That's a bad hand. Nothing to work with. All Need right, some more son. players in this one. Nighttime's probably gonna be better to play, but we had to check this out. Oh, that's good. Ace King. Uh, we'll go ahead and call that. I think I'm gonna call. Three clubs. Ace, King, Queen, so we're not too bad. We'll go ahead and check. No, thanks. Two Queens. Good uh, choice, my friend. We'll still call. Nine. Lock me up and throw away the key. That's going to be a high card win. Let's see. I got the high card. Oh, he got... Yep, high card. So I'll win that pot. That was going to be a high card win. I'm watching you. That's two spades, so we're going we're gonna to play it. Oh, that wasn't a good draw. I'll still check. I like it. Nope, uh, too rich. Oh. That was a good win there, buddy. Oh, uh, let's see. Seven's a nine, huh? We'll go ahead and call. Oh, he raised 12. Ooh. We'll call. We're going to stay in. Two, nine, and three. All clubs. We got a pair of nine, so we're going to bet 10. We're going to try bet. to bluff him out. We did it. Okay, that was a good little round there. I think I'll leave while the going's good. Got our 25 back in there. That's that's good. 
Didn't lose anything, didn't make anything, but hey, sometimes that happens. So, with that, I think that's going to end our episode today. Um, I'll make it back to our save spot and call it a quits with this. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a like button. I know we're still early in, but keep with me here. This will get better. Um, actually, I'll probably take the stage coach back. But yeah, stay with me on this. It'll get better. And I'll go back and save. And we'll see you on the next one.